Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve right here. Today we're talking about your pictures, That's right. which I am enjoying this segment more and more, Steve, because yeah. it seems like you guys are enjoying this more and more, which is fantastic. I love seeing what people are doing out there with your helmets and your builds. So I'm going to give your helmet a rating. We're going to jump right into this one because um, we got about a dozen or so that we're going to be going through. And I have not seen these before. Nope. I'm going to give a one to 10 scale. And if you want to see your stuff, your helmets, your collectibles on this show, email them to picks at greengridiron.com. Sometimes it takes a couple weeks or maybe even months, but we will probably get to them. And if you make it on this show, you get something for free, a decal and maybe a t-shirt. Yeah, if we love your photo, if you're basically a 10 out of 10, if I think your helmet's a 10 out of 10, even if it's a crappy photo, mm -hmm. but if Steve thinks your photo is a 10 out of 10, even if it's a crappy helmet, yep. either one of us might give you a pick. And if you do, you get a t-shirt. We haven't given, we gave out a bunch of t-shirts couple months ago yeah but it's been a little while maybe maybe today all right yeah. so first up let's start with vincent all right Vinny. let's see what you got here i was thinking the same thing <laughs> yeah so we've got this is chrome a chrome helmet with chrome decals a it almost looks photoshopped the black front bumper but it's not right uh but that at one point said shut on a shut on it from the factory and it looks like that was then pulled off i like that they popped it right off it looks like that's one way of unbranding your stuff just yeah. rip it off <laughs> yeah or this would actually this actually might have been like that but it had that that uni clip on oh, there we yeah. can put the mask in and turn it we've talked about these before i don't like these if it came with this helmet then this person doesn't like it so i applaud you you're gonna get bonus points for switching that thing out getting rid of it put your clips on there is that a nickel mask with a clear coat? It is. So there's a process where you can nickel plate the, f the metal of the face mask. And then on top of that, you put a super thick clear coat. And then on top of that, you put a translucent clear coat paint on top of it. That's what's going on here. A lot of people don't realize how fragile some of these finishes are. And it kind of sets you up for disappointment when you go out and beat something up and you think it's going to stay looking clean and fresh and new and shiny forever. Yeah. And then after the first time you run out on the field, it comes back looking all crummy. You know what I really, there's one thing I really like, and that's the color scheme, that chrome and then the red, but I don't get the decal placement. They're really leaning. They're leaning the wrong the way. Yeah. Um, and I'm wondering if that was done, I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that that was done on purpose. You, there's a few things you get bonus points on this one, Vinny. A few that you're not. I'm going to go with a 7.2. Not too bad. Yeah, not it's too on bad. Shot F7. Thing. I like this. I love the shot F7s. All right, Cutter. So he has one where he laid out the jersey and the football and the helmet. Love it because we say it all the time. We like your stories. That tells a story. Um, the photos aren't great, but they were enough to make it on the show. They're they're dark for sure, and it looks like he took it on a cloudy, overcast day, which that's cool um i don't know you have a you know uprights in the background maybe maybe place them right in the middle or do something with it but it's okay it's all right you know good good work i like the stripes <laughs> i know it has nothing to do with the photo i, I love that. yeah so this has a mizzou look and feel to it for sure i don't know um if this is a mizzou player or a fan if this helmet came from the locker room or not. Obviously, we've got the Mizzou jersey. We've got a used Mizzou football. And then we've got the helmet. The helmet here, this has got an OPO face mask on it. It's a shut. And if you zoom in really close, Steve, on the side clips, side face mask clips in the photo that shows the, the football and the jersey with the helmet, what you see there um, is the tell that it's a collectible helmet. This came, so this did not, the helmet at least, did not come from the locker room. Uh, it, it was purchased as a collectible, and we know that because of the screws. So those are those tamper-proof screws. I don't know what you would call exactly. those. You can only, basically you can only put them in with a, simply with a screwdriver. I'm betting that Cutter lives in Missouri, makes an excursion to the stadium in the springtime when they go out and they have uh, a sale. They sell all of the equipment and stuff from the last mm. from the previous year. And he picked himself up a football and a jersey. That's my gut. That's the story that I'm seeing out of this one. I like that story. I think that makes sense. As far as the helmet goes, pretty basic. 
I can't give it a, a high score right. because it's basically a collectible that was purchased and nothing has been done to it yep. to take it to another level. Could be adding, a, you know, upgrading the chin strap. We could put a visor in it. We could put a better face mask in it. Everything is pretty much bow and stock. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, I'm going to give the helmet a five. I knew exactly right, that's what you were right, saying. Right down the middle. You got to do something to yes. bump it up. I do love the, the, the gnarled up, dirty football. So do I. The jersey is nice. I too. am really betting nice. money that was has been not only used in the backyard, but it's been used in a real game. All right, Cutter, step up your game a little bit with that collectible, and you'll be right there. All right, next up, Braxton. All right, Braxton. So we got some interesting things here. The first things that are jumping out at me is the number one decal on the back of the helmet. It's crooked. It is, and it's. It, it's sitting underneath the rear bumper a little bit too. That's interesting. That is interesting. The American flag is a little bit interesting. It's a it's a size that's a little smaller than most American flags. I don't mind that there. I don't mind it. I don't mind it there either. Mm -hmm. um, especially, it's got to go somewhere nice. I mean, we love symmetry on the back of the helmets with the decals, and you've got all. I mean, Riddell or whoever reconditioned this helmet put all kinds of sticker warning labels and their certification years and the size of the helmet and all that. And that's all good and fine. Uh, they, they want it there for a reason. But then what we have here on the first picture, Steve, is it shows the mini helmet version of this. So this is a, you know, there are a bunch of companies, not a bunch actually, there's only a handful of companies um, that make miniature versions of high school helmets. This Actually, this is the U might be stand for university, so this might be a, a small college. The Rockers or Rockets. I got a couple of I got more bonus points on this one than not than than subtractions. I'm gonna go with a I'm gonna go with a six point one. I like the Speed Flex. I like that there's a matching mini helmet. You know the mini the mini mini version. That crooked one drives you nuts. The crooked one, yeah. Just just straighten <laughs> it up. That's all. Come on, man. All right, next up. Christian. Oh, I love the colors on this. I like, I mean, so this is an HS4 face mask. HS4 being the type of uh, stainless steel that Riddell uses for not only now all of their speed masks, but also all of their speed flex masks. It's in a purple that is very close. It's the closest purple that you're gonna have to the color of the paint on the helmet. Mm -hmm. So what I like about this is kind of the, you know, Riddell has had multiple iterations of their speed face mask, starting all the way back with the regular, we call them S-bars, um, but you've also got the, the, you know, the ones that replaced the S-bars were the SP, where the, you had the straight bar along the side of the helmet, and then they have, they have a whole bunch of custom ones in there. Then you've got lightweights, and the lightweight versions changed to the, uh, the LWVs. But this is an, just the regular S2BD HS4. We've got Under Armour visor clips in a Barnett visor. Uh, so he's actually gone through the effort of not only getting a visor to put in the helmet, but also upgrading the clips on there. The chin strap straps, to me... Don't quite match. It's not helping the aesthetics of the helmet. I agree. At this point, just go with white or black. I mean, it's, Yeah, it's, it's, a, mar it's a maroon yeah. uh, chin strap, so he probably had it. Maybe this was an old color. Maybe this is the closest that they could have gotten for the team. I don't know. Pretty basic outside of that. I'm going to go with a 5.8 on okay. this guy. Yeah, I think that's good. What are Thank thought, you for what, that. What are your thoughts based on the picture? I mean, I like the photos because I love seeing helmets and lockers, um, especially when the lockers match the helmets, as we say so Steve, usually do. Over the years, so you love helmets and lockers. You love helmets with dog dogs in the picture and there are nature. Fo photos with yeah. nature. So what you really want to see is you want to see someone's locker room with a plant and a puppy Oh my God! Shoved in there somehow. It's a it's a T-shirt. Preferably if you can make that one that's alive. Uh, yes, yes, <laughs> live puppies for sure. Uh, all right. Next up, Jeff. Okay, Jeff. I know what you did here. I appreciate you sending in the pictures, and there's cool stuff to cover, but the pictures are tough. Good enough to make this show. I just I just wish they were better. I'm gonna say um, I'm not gonna look at the pictures. Right. So what we have here, uh, so we've got a Vices helmet, we've got an Oakley uh, Vices visor, we've got a, what looks like a Shock Doctor 
mouthpiece. I don't really get into talking about the mouthpieces that much. You can see the Sports Star chin strap, which come with Vice's helmets, mm -hmm. possibly could have been an upgrade as well. Overall, that's about as clean a look as you're going to get with a Vice's helmet. There's not much more you could do to it, even if you wanted to. I know, I know. With the Speed Flex, though, what we have is we have a Zudi. This is going to be the, the Crusader EG808. Uh, one of my favorite masks. I agree. Yeah. Such a cool... I've actually never seen one in just white. So I think that that looks nice. And he's got the safe clips, too. Yep. He's got so safe clips. Nice. Yeah. With, this has been upgraded with the Riddell TPC chin strap. There's a lot of upgrades on here. This is another example of the add-ons are probably as much as the helmet. And yeah. you've got some really safe pieces of equipment on here, yeah. and uh, no. I, I like I like it. No visor. That's fine. Um, we've got two different colors, so I'm wondering, is this because your team Hawks or Eagles or... Two really good helmets, too. Like <laughs> this is yeah. a... So I'm going to give an average score on this one. I'm going to go with a 6.3. It's a little stingy. I know. Okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, next up, Tyler. Yeah. Maybe it's the, the quality of the picture. It's throwing it's, it's you. bringing it down a little bit. The yeah. angle and the fact that I couldn't even see the, the color. Right. I mean, those are good points. Okay, so we've got a Giants helmet here. And this is from Tyler. And I think Tyler must have bought something from us to receive that yeah, red so shirt. We had a promotion going on, so we worked with um, the guys over at Under Armour to supply us with red and blue visors, Under Armour visors. So we, we did a pre-sale, and then that pre-sale was you buy the visor, you get a free one-of-a-kind t-shirt. If you bought the red visor, you got a red t-shirt with our logo on it. You got the blue visor, you get the blue uh, t-shirt with our logo on it. And that's it. We don't sell those t-shirts. Right. Um, Anywhere they were just for the pre-sale. This uh, is a nice setup, too. He's got the OBJ mask, OBJ numbers. I mean, the numbers aren't quite right because they're a little small, but he Yeah, the, number, the numbers are a little small. Actually look a lot more like the numbers on the helmet where they wore the, uh, the Giants, but they're not. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they, you know, they're actually, they're pretty good. They're just, they're just small. They're very good. They're just small, yeah. yeah and but I'll tell you, it's very difficult to find little stuff like that. And you probably pick these up off of eBay somewhere. And, you know, eBay is the Wild West. You're going to get what you're going to get. Um, is it perfect? No. no. But the amount of work that went into it w is significant to get it to where we definitely recognize what, was, what going, went yeah. into this one here. I'm going to give this guy 8.8. .8. Nice. Highest score of the day so far. Yeah. Good for you, Tyler. But with between the chin strap, the face mask, the decals. Oh, yeah. The visor and big bonus points for throwing the shirt in there. Too. Yeah, and thanks for your purchase. Uh, next up, Luke. We have a lot of Lukes. Um, okay. Check this. I like this. I love it. Uh, yeah. We're, we've got the, the chin strap delete option going mm -hmm. on. I would have liked to see this with a sports star chin strap. I know the Bills wear a lot of sports star chin straps, uh, but we've got a unique helmet that I think he put together himself. So I think Luke went out there and he got himself this helmet in a royal blue, or he painted it, one of the two, I can't really tell. We've got a red face mask that he just had lying around. Yeah. It's not a brand new face mask. Oh. Matter of fact, this is one of those S, you know, S bar styles I was talking about where you've got the kind of the, the, the jagged uh, bars on the sides. The EGOP, or sorry, the S2EG is one of my favorite speed masks that there is. I just think that all of the curves in the, lo in the line... Is A lot going on. Yeah. Dude, yeah. look at the size of the decals on the sides and the stripes, and it, they look perfect. Yeah, it does look... They do look a little bit oversized. Yeah, they're uh, enormous. <laughs> it's but, like, I, but I think that they look great. It, they look awesome, because we know how hard that is. That's I, really nicely done. I don't think you're ever going to see this color helmet in Buffalo. No. But that's okay. I like this. This is super, super yep. creative. I would put, how, what things would I do differently here? Obviously, I just said it. I would put a, a Sports Star chin strap in there. Yeah. Uh, I would put a visor. One of our red or blue visors would look great on this guy. Probably even looks better in person than in photos, too. But you got nature in the photos. So you, you like that. Great pictures. I, I mean, everything about this. Luke wins so far today for me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I mean, it's it's a nice helmet. I'm going like to give Luke an 8.5. Oh, man. 
I just think, under I, Tyler. Yeah, I like I like the, the Giants one. <laughs> so so take that, uh, Giants and there you go. Bills fans. Do what you want to do with that. Uh, next up is Logan. I love the photo. I, he the focus is a little off with the woman to, facing forward, but the placement is cool. You know he sat there and lined up the chin strap. Uh, I'm sorry, the mouth guard, I, I think it's cool. So uh, you like that low angle. This is probably with a cell phone, so it kind of yeah. gives it, the, it's, a, it's that wide angle look. I know you love these, because when you, he takes photos for us. Yeah. That's my style. You use that, that, that angle a lot. I don't like it. <laughs> well, it, it, to me, I don't know. I like, I like the, uh, what are they called? The, where, where you're, you sit far back and you use the zoom to tell. I like the telephotos where you're getting compressed. more of a portrait style, okay. more compressed. Because I now know a little bit more about photography, probably certainly than I used to before. Oh, listen yeah. to this guy just talk. You probably talk about it in your sleep, Steve. I can tell that this was taken pretty close up with a with a phone. You got it, man. It was, and it... I prefer to not know. <laughs> I want to not know. Now, I, I guess I, I know too much. Did right? you do the backs of these? Is that common for it to look like with that big of a bumper with like the raised? Yeah, letters? so that's what Zenith does. Huh. And uh, this is one of the newer Zenith helmets. They got the new logo on here. This is the new font, new ish over the last couple of years. So this helmet can't be more than a couple of years old. It's an X2E Plus. Uh, so right now, Zenith, I think they got the X2E Plus, they got the Epic Plus and then they've got the shadow. I like the black and white theme, and then you got a little bit of yellow on the back. I like the placement of that decal on the back. It's big. It's big. For the back, but it works. Yeah. I like it too. That's cool. If you took the stripe away, that would go perfect kind of in the center on the yes. back. Yes. I kind of like it like this just fine though. I really like the black and white. I'm gonna go, Steve, I'm gonna shock the world here. Mm -mm. I'm gonna go with a 7.1. The <laughs> highest score for a Zenith yet. Yeah. yeah. All right, so next up is Ty. All about the Jeep. Well, <laughs> my four-year-old Ty would love you. He loves Jeeps. Jeez, I can't walk through a parking lot that has a <laughs> Jeep in it where he doesn't wanna go check out the inside. So there is your motivation, Ty to keep the inside of your vehicle as looking as good as the outside. There you go. Because uh, the, the, there's, you know, the youth of America. That's right. To, to, the, tomorrow's Jeep owners are, are checking out the inside of your vehicle. Keep it clean. Even... Rough and rugged look of it, the cleats on the Jeep. I mean, he just put it out there and he made well, it, he did it. It's no surprise to me that we've got some uh, strategic upgrades here in the helmet, just like we have strategic upgrades in the Jeep. Yes. And it's also no surprise that a guy with the Jeep is going to have upgrades, and a guy with the Jeep is going to have upgrades on his helmet. And red, white, and blue. Right? It's all about America. What's more American than a Jeep yeah. Wrangler? With the helmet, it's a speed flex. We've got red, white, and blue decals. I'm assuming that those are your high school uh, decals, pretty standard stuff. But on the visor, we got a Nike visor. We got red on one side, blue on the other side. That's not by accident. And then we've got a red shock visor insert. Uh, inside the visor. I am going to go with a, I'm going to go with another 7.1. Mm -hmm. I, I so, really thought you were going to say that. Uh, next up, Jimmy. Everybody called my dad Jimmy. Um, I like this little play of like an orca. I wonder if these this team is the orcas. I don't know. Look at that dramatic lighting. Very Rembrandt. That's cool. See, Steve, I wouldn't really notice something like that, but I guess now that you say it, it is. That's fantastic picture. Yeah, and again, we got a sports star chin strap. We've got the Oakley visor. This one was created just for Vices. They only fit the Vices helmets slash face masks. Um, what could we have done differently to take, take this guy to another level? I can't really tell. It looks like we might have... Under Armour clips, no, those look like regular yeah. clips. You know, we could do some, you know, upgrade the visor clips maybe. Can't really see the side of the helmet to see if there's anything on the sides of the helmet as far as decal goes. I, I like the decals, um, the, you know, the Orca decals. You don't like I, the placement though. I, well, I don't like the, I don't like it when the decals are forced to cover up the vents in the helmet. I know it's tough because here's 
uh, you know, Jimmy probably plays in a team where he went out and bought his own helmet. This is, so this is one of two things. Either the team bought everybody Vice's helmets, which is possible, or okay. the team has a mix of helmets, and Jimmy went out and bought this helmet mm -hmm. um, for the team. Either way, it's very difficult to get a decal set up in a way that doesn't cover decals for one of the styles of helmets, because they all put their, these air vents in completely different places. I like the red and white scheme. Yep. So many colors go really well with white, um, and it just happens to match the chin strap and all that kind of stuff. But, I love red. So I am gonna go with, on this guy, uh, I'm gonna go with a 7.0. Nice helmet, nice it's pictures. Cool. Yep. I, like, I like the orca-ness of it too. Next up, and last up, Last up. Ethan. Let's make it a good one, Ethan. All right. So let's go to this picture because it's nice, nice. I like it. Col the color of the helmet, I think, is great. We got a silver face mask. I think that that's great. Yes. I love, love, love the decal, Steve. I, <clears throat> I you... like it because it's a, it, it's a transfer decal. It's not all clear. That would have been a mess. Man, the placement of these decals so is tough. right on the money. So though. tough, yeah. Right around the vents. And I mean, on the back, he didn't send in pictures of the back, but I can see there's a horseshoe to go along with it. I don't know if this is a Colt or a Mustang or what, but. I'm saying this is definitely a Mustang. Yeah. And I think, what do you call this? It's not really, it's not a knockout. I, it's it's a, almost. like a shadow. I, it's uh, an outline. A silhouette. And from a photography standpoint, I love the, the placement of the, 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 the sun burst. If it's not really a sun burst, it's just the, the reflection the of reflection. the light, right? But you can tell like he kind of lined it up on the main in both photos. Mm -hmm. Really nice work. Uh, very, very cool looking helmet. Looks like it needs to get out there and get played with a little bit though. I'm sure you're on yep. it. We got, a, we, we got a, you know, a potential cam lock upgrade on this guy as well. And I tell you, I think that this picture was sent in several weeks ago. Here's an yeah. example of I think yeah. he sent this in like early September. <laughs> I like. I really like it. We've got because you know we've got an upgraded uh, paint job. We've got yep. the decals that look fantastic. Yeah, you could have put in a visor. You could have upgraded the chin strap and done a couple other little things. But I'm going to give this guy a high score for uniqueness in that decal. All right. And I'm going to go with the seven point seven. Lots of sevens. Tyler wins as far as points are concerned. I like Luke's the best. This was good. We have, this is episode 26. We want to see you stick around till episode 126. Yeah, so let us know. What about this the, this series? Do you want to see differently? Should we go faster? Should we go slower? Should we talk about, do more helmets? Because mm -hmm. um, we, we could talk about this stuff too forever. Long. For, you know, way too long. So leave your comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and click the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.